flash like a firefly in the night. It is the breath of a buffalo in a winter time. It is a little shadow which runs across the grass and loses itself in the sunset. Good evening. Welcome to the Red Earth Show. This is Nora Lee. And I'm very, very proud and honored to have two amazing in-house guests. We have Jessica and Josh. Welcome, welcome to the Red Earth Show. And once again, my trusty sidekick, and we're still looking for suggestions on his nickname. <laughs> sidekick, I, I sound like a super, she's a superhero. <laughs> I really need a superhero sidekick name for it. <laughs> but right. Stu Robbins from the Underground Railroad. And in house we have Bob and my daughter Samantha. Welcome everybody. Don't forget Pete. Really? And Pete, Pete, thank you so much. So Pete. Jessica, Josh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us here. All right. So what I'd like to do is uh, maybe just ask the first question and you'll play some music and just get to know each other and get relaxed and comfortable. All right, so I see that you're both, we were just talking, you're both are from New York, we're yes. from Staten Island, yes. and you're from Brooklyn. Can you tell us a little bit about both of your backgrounds, how you met, how the music got together? Um, well, I'm from New York City, um, born and raised um, in the Bronx, the Kingsbridge Heights section of the Bronx, and East Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like a Bronx girl. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> right, I'm not sure. No. Is that good or is you that You just look like somebody grew up in the streets of the Bronx. <laughs> well, I, I've had really, really uh, good parents, uh, really good guidance from, from both uh, my mother and my father. Um, yeah, I went to uh, the schools in, the, in, in New York City. Um, I first learned how to play the flute uh, when I was a kid, my father got me this like small, um, small flute. It, it's it, it's a flute native to South America. It's called a piquillo. 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 Little pea. Um, and I just played around with it for a while. Um, didn't really make much like music with it. It was just more you know childish, uh, a, a childish toy more than anything else. And for some reason, I guess I grew out of that. And then um, a few years later, I wanted to learn how to play the piano. Um, and my parents got me a Casio keyboard player. <laughs> and with that, I just started to experiment with different sounds. And um, I started to write my own music and lyrics. And I also got into uh, poetry writing and writing short stories and mysteries. And it was around this time where I just started to read a lot, a lot of books, uh, detective uh, uh, stories and mysteries and stuff like that. I, mean, I was, I was, I was an awkward kid. <laughs> I still am. I'm pretty weird. So, <laughs> with the poetry, you started writing music. Is that when you first realized that this is something that you truly wanted to pursue? Uh, um, with the music, I again with 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 playing the flute. Um, I think I grew out of that. When I went into college, I decided that I wanted to study nutrition, and so I studied clinical nutrition at NYU. Um, and I was still writing uh, poems when I was in college, um, but I gave that up. Um, I, I guess I was more focused um, and trying to like just have a career in nutrition as a, as a nutritionist. Um, and I worked as a nutritionist for several years um, in New York City. Um, and then I met Josh. Um, he was a student uh, at the new school. The jazz program. The, the jazz program. Um, and I, I guess it was with, with knowing Josh, and it, you know, we got married um, years later, that I picked up the flute again. Um, and just started writing music. And there was definitely um, a mutual it, with, with the music together. Yes, def definitely. And I learned how to play the guitar later on. Um, and yeah, I think that's really, that's yeah. how I, 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 you know, went back. So have you gone, gone back over some of your poetry when you were younger? Have you then turned that poetry into music? Do you perform any of that stuff you, now? You know, 
When I was a kid, my poems were really childish. <laughs> this is about like, you know, the, the seasons and just stuff like that. But when um, I became older and I was in college, uh, my poems were more and were, were more about relationships and stuff like that. But the songs that I that are right now, um, they're not even about like love or relationships or anything like that. They're, they're like the, more of who I am. Um, it's a way for me to express, like, instead of expressing it in words, I express it in music. Josh, do you do any writing at all? Or? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, have a number of records that I've done in the last few years. I'm a jazz guitarist and I write, uh, like, original uh, jazz, uh, like, improvised uh, instrumental music. Um, nice. And since 2011, uh, I've recorded nine albums. About to do the 10th. Mm -hmm. Oh my! Yeah. It yeah. started out as a series. Yeah, it's a series yeah. of six records. Um, and now it's up to 10. So, so yeah, yeah, lots of writing. Lots of music writing in every mm -hmm. place. Well, speaking of all this music, how about we hear something? What do you think? Sounds good. Sure. Do you have any suggestions? Oh, um, I guess we can um, go ahead and do Mountain Morning. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, before every performance, I have to check and recheck that the block <laughs> or uh, the, the fetish, sometimes it, this is called, is right where it should be. Because if it's not, then when I blow into it, if it sounds bad, everything just goes bad. So. I thought I had to duck and cover something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Sure. Right show.
here on Homegrown Radio and Jade.org for live guests, Jessica and Josh. And you just listened to the title track of All My Blessings. Um, do you want to take a break or do you want to play another song? I'd love to hear another song. <laughs> challenging yes and every day you have to wake up and not just be thankful that you just woke up but at least wake up and be thankful for something that has happened the day before right and right. you should go to bed and be thankful it, it, exactly. even if it's just a little thing yes like not hitting a raccoon on your way to work and i think the next song is actually called red rock great nice. there we go. Here you go. they just had gathering of the nations 
That's right. Uh, Albuquerque. Right. That is definitely a white. After a visit, you wouldn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you listen to the Red Earth Show with Nora Lee here on Homegrown Radio NJ.org. Josh and Jessica Maxi. And this is Red Rocks. Red Rocks. <laughs> somehow entwined with each other and you touch me I touch you and then we go on and we touch others and I hope you know your music has definitely touched me and, and I hope it's Thank touched you. some of our listeners Thanks. and it's it's beautiful stuff I I feel so blessed that you traveled all the way out here to to play this live I'm definitely enjoying this thank you, thank you guys so so much um, thank you for having us here it's an honor to be here oh thank you you know just my husband has been doing radio for a very long time, not giving your age away, honey. Oh, it's almost 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've always always been the one that, that helped carry in the records and the CDs and the music equipment and has always been the one that's sitting in the background. And then it was only, I guess, last July that I actually thought about doing this. And I'm really glad I did, you know. And I try not to play too much powwow music. That's what I call. That's for the beating of the drums. Because I, like I said before, I feel like you get the most out of it if you listen to it live. I just truly, my heart, don't believe that the radio the music over the internet doesn't do justice to it. So, let's see, we were gonna play another song before yes. we took a break? Yes, um, this next one is titled Kiwia. Kiwia? Kiwia. Kiwia. It's with a, a, a Q um, in English. Uh, 
in Quechua, which is the uh, Andean language of South America. It's spelled with a, a K. Um, here's Kilia. Kilia.
you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you. Um, when we recorded the song, um, it wasn't with, with the box. Uh, it was um, with the conga drum by percussionist Scalo Rojas um, in New York. <laughs>